Is artificial intelligence replacing radiologists? Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. Artificial intelligence is making impressive strides in healthcare, and there is an ever-growing interest in its potential to revolutionize medicine. Radiology has become a focal point of this conversation, causing people to speculate over whether AI will eventually replace radiologists entirely. In 2016, the pioneering computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton infamously predicted that AI would surpass radiologists within five years. But are these fears warranted? Let's dive in. So, can artificial intelligence replace radiologists? The short answer is no, not anytime soon. Let's go through a few of the reasons why. First, we need to cover the basics of how image recognition works. AI excels at pattern recognition, which forms the basis for image recognition models. These models rely on artificial neural networks, typically a specific type called a convolutional neural network or CNN. CNNs consist of multiple layers arranged sequentially, and each layer can be thought of as recognizing specific features of an image. A convolution is a special type of mathematical function that, in this context, can be thought of as a filter that slides across the input image to detect these features. Early layers typically start with simpler elements, such as lines and shapes, while deeper layers detect increasingly complex patterns, such as objects or faces. The network then compares these patterns to the vast data set of labeled images it was trained on, enabling it to make predictions about the content of the input image. It's also important to understand that current image recognition models are task-specific. In radiology, convolutional neural networks have had success in specific applications, such as detecting large vessel occlusions in acute stroke and identifying pulmonary nodules. Commercial software packages using such models are already available for purchase by hospitals. However, all of these models are highly specialized and task-specific, meaning each is trained to detect a single pathology. Stroke, for example, is one of hundreds of different brain conditions that can present on imaging, so even if you could train a model for every condition, it would require running hundreds of models simultaneously. Additionally, many conditions present similarly on imaging, which brings us to the third point. Radiology demands more than pattern recognition. It also requires clinical knowledge. Radiologists interpret imaging findings within the broader clinical context, integrating them with the patient's medical history and current condition to provide accurate differential diagnoses. For example, lung opacities are a frequent finding on chest x-rays, and while a task-specific AI model can be trained to detect them, it would be unable to determine the underlying cause. Are the opacities due to atelectasis, infection, pulmonary edema, or even hemorrhage? Differentiating between these requires medical knowledge and clinical reasoning. Moreover, radiologists also use clinical judgment to recommend correlating imaging findings with specific lab tests or suggest further imaging when necessary. These decision-making processes go far beyond mere pattern recognition. AI complex reasoning is certainly in our near future, as Sam Altman mentioned in his January 2025 Reflections and Updates, which means it could soon start taking context into account. But as we rely more and more on AI, we will need more experts to tell us where AI gets things wrong. And there are also the many hurdles of scaling and implementation. Even if you get something working in a lab, it can be years before it reaches a hospital. Plus, there are massive legal and ethical issues to contend with, which we'll discuss later in this video. Malpractice law is well established, not something that will be rewritten overnight. Now, you may be wondering, what about ChatGPT? The AI models currently used in radiology are narrow in scope and useful in highly specific tasks. But to fully replace a radiologist, an AI model would need to accurately interpret thousands of imaging findings across the entire body, perform clinical reasoning, and integrate other inputs, such as lab values and the patient's medical history. These hypothetical models fall under the category of generalized medical artificial intelligence. Recent advancements in large language models, also known as LLMs, like ChatGPT, can be considered steps toward generalized AI. These models are increasingly multimodal and sometimes called vision language models, or VLMs, because they can now process images and videos alongside text. So how do they fare when tasked with radiology tasks? 
While they perform well on radiology board exams and can identify imaging modalities and anatomic regions, their actual diagnostic accuracy remains quite limited. One study of pediatric images showed that these models correctly diagnosed only 27.8% of cases, and another reported accuracy below 50%. Another recent study highlighted the potential risks of relying on GPT, noting the hypothetical impact of a non-radiologist relying on GPT-4V would have been positive in 2%, neutral in 53.3%, and negative in 43.3% of images. Moreover, cases the models do get correct in these studies may be influenced by biases from the provided history. For example, if given an abdominal CT scan and history of weight loss and painless hematuria, the model might suggest a cancer diagnosis based solely on textual cues without analyzing the image itself. VLMs are also vulnerable to data leakage. If images used in model evaluation are publicly accessible online, it is possible those images were already used in the model's training dataset, which compromises the integrity of the evaluation. Finally, just like LLMs, VLMs are also prone to hallucinations and repeating misinformation. Overall, these findings show that current AI models are far from capable of making diagnoses at the level of a human radiologist. Fifth, radiologists do much more than generate reports. Radiologists engage in frequent communication with other physicians, discussing imaging findings on the phone or in person to help guide clinical decisions. They also play a vital role in tumor boards, actively contributing to the multidisciplinary management of complex cases. In certain subspecialties, like breast imaging, radiologists often speak directly with patients to discuss sensitive topics, such as abnormal mammogram results. Since these conversations involve personal and emotional information, it is likely that patients will always prefer to receive their medical diagnoses from a human. Diagnostic radiologists also perform procedures such as image-guided biopsies. Sixth, there are also a number of legal and ethical challenges that need to be solved before AI can feasibly replace radiologists in clinical settings. Currently, radiologists are held liable for diagnostic errors so they can be targets in malpractice suits. But who is responsible in the case of an AI error? The manufacturer, the user or owner of the AI system, or both? If we consider the case of a truly autonomous AI without human oversight, any errors it makes could feasibly fall under two different legal theories, malpractice and product liability. Malpractice law is well established, and to bring about a valid malpractice claim, the plaintiff must prove, among other things, that a doctor-patient relationship existed and that the doctor failed to meet the accepted standard of care, which is the treatment that another doctor in the same specialty would provide under similar circumstances. But what does a doctor-patient relationship look like if the doctor is not a human, but an AI system? And what is the standard of care? Is it that of a human radiologist or of other AI systems? And if the latter, does this mean human radiologists would, in turn, be held to the same standard as AI? If the product liability category is applied, then the legal responsibility would fall on the AI system's developer. However, courts have been hesitant to extend product liability law to software as opposed to tangible goods. And given that machine learning inherently involves software evolving and improving over time, is it reasonable to hold developers liable for errors that arise from changes beyond their control? Unlike human radiologists, who are legally required to have a medical license, AI currently lacks a formal licensing framework. Regulatory bodies like the FDA would need to approve AI systems and establish clear guidelines for their use before they can make independent diagnoses. Many deep learning systems also face what's known as the black box problem. While we may have a general understanding of how AI models work, the specific processes and decisions they use to come to their conclusions often remain murky. This lack of transparency may complicate the principle of informed consent and raise ethical and safety concerns. Are we comfortable making life-altering decisions based on a process we don't fully understand? Finally, just like humans, AI systems suffer from biases. In one infamous example, when Amazon tried to train a model to predict the best candidates to hire from a stack of resumes, the system selected only men. Specific to radiology, studies have shown that AI models can underdiagnose pathology in already underserved patient populations, perpetuating or even amplifying existing human biases. 
Such biases pose a risk of exacerbating existing healthcare disparities, making it imperative to address this issue before AI systems can be widely adopted in clinical settings. Now that we've covered why artificial intelligence won't be replacing radiologists anytime soon, let's discuss the numerous ways that AI may help radiologists make them more efficient. First, AI models capable of confidently identifying negative studies and auto-generating reports could alleviate the workload on radiologists, allowing them to focus on complex and positive cases. This is a practical way to help mitigate the current radiologist workforce shortage while maintaining high-quality patient care. This kind of AI triage also aligns with the increasing demand for imaging, which radiologists already have trouble keeping up with. Software that auto-generates reports for negative chest x-rays has already received regulatory approval in European markets, demonstrating the feasibility of such solutions. Second, a further potential use of AI is enhancing image analysis. Measuring anatomical structures or pathological features on radiological images is essential for diagnosis, monitoring treatment progress, and planning interventions. Currently, radiologists often perform these measurements manually. An AI system capable of detecting and measuring relevant structures could save time, reduce errors associated with manual measurement, and ensure consistency by applying the same process across subsequent exams. Another important task is segmentation which involves partitioning an image into distinct regions or structures. Examples include separating a tumor from healthy tissue and delineating organs. Convolutional neural networks have performed particularly well at automating this process. There is also an imaging field called radiomics that focuses on the extraction and quantitative analysis of imaging data. By analyzing features such as texture, shape, and intensity patterns, radiomic techniques may reveal imaging characteristics and patterns imperceptible to the human eye. These methods are largely powered by machine learning and AI. Third, AI may also help with non-interpretive tasks, those unrelated to directly interpreting images. An example is having AI prioritize studies with a higher likelihood of positive findings, ensuring that the radiologist reviews them first. Additionally, AI could help with operational changes, such as optimizing patient scheduling to maximize scanner utilization and efficiency. Finally, LLMs like ChatGPT are being explored for their uses in radiology. One potential use is auto-generating report impressions based on the content of the report body. Another is creating more patient-friendly versions of radiology reports that translate medical language into jargon-free explanations. While it's impossible to predict exactly what the job landscape will look like in 100 years, it seems likely that the role of a radiologist is secure for the foreseeable future. By the time AI has the potential to fully replace radiologists, many other professions, including more straightforward and algorithmic medical fields, will likely already have been impacted and society as a whole will have undergone significant shifts. What is more certain, however, is that AI will continue to play an increasingly prominent role in radiology, enhancing workflows, boosting efficiency, and increasing throughput. Rather than replacing radiologists entirely, AI will likely serve as a powerful tool that supports their work, allowing them to focus on more complex tasks while automating routine processes. Some of the non-interpretive tasks mentioned above are already starting to be implemented in hospitals, and this should continue to increase over the next few years. The volume of imaging keeps climbing, and the current shortage of radiologists means they are forced to read scans at arguably dangerous speeds. In some cases, clinicians at big referral centers don't even trust outside reads and want their own radiology department to reread the scan, which just creates even more work. Plus, the doctor shortage in the US shows no sign of slowing down. When AI assistance and increased efficiency can catch up with the increasing shortage is unpredictable at this point. If and when it does, the field of radiology could evolve similarly to other industries like coding and writing, where they are more competitive with fewer jobs available. Perhaps radiology will drop on our specialty competitiveness index in the coming years if the radiologist's job market becomes more competitive, causing fewer medical students to be interested in pursuing the specialty. Radiology currently ranks in the top 10 most competitive specialties to match into. 
but this will be similarly true of any specialties that are more algorithmic, including radiology, but also pathology, emergency medicine, and cardiology, among others. While all of medicine is somewhat algorithmic, specialties like surgery requiring complex manual skills and decision making are much further off from being replaced or having significant shifts in the job market from AI efficiency boosts. While AI will undoubtedly change the field of radiology, this shouldn't deter students from entering the field. Working radiologists are excited about the technological advancements and the potential to streamline their workload as they are currently tremendously understaffed, overworked, and burnt out. The looming threat of AI taking over is just as, if not more relevant for many other career paths. The future is certainly unclear for many industries, and we'll keep assessing the landscape of all medical career paths as new developments emerge. Watch So You Want to Be a Radiologist and So You Want to Be an Interventional Radiologist to learn more about these career paths.